Alright. Synergetic spike. Uh, have a bite. You can remove the glow by using a very dark dye and then just apply. So basically, it removes all the effects, the trailing effects when you hover. It looks pretty great if you just want a more realistic look. You can use that. One thing that is very important about this mount is that you need a lot of uh, dyes that can pop colors with high hues and some colors just appear darker than it should be when you're using some cheaper dye so you might have to invest into some very high hue dyes like the uh, electro pink electro blues for the base panels another thing that i notice if you play it on a very low settings your mouse might appear a bit more like a lego block instead of a proper metallic color this is because you need the reflection settings and shadow turn up to high or medium to at least get some reflection so one thing uh, i would suggest if you're on a budget for the dice you can use cheaper dice with some greens greens are very cheap for common and rares if you're trying to get reds and blues, it's gonna be a bit more expensive. So you get a more you know, military style. And black and gold is really great. You don't have to spend for Shadow Beast if you don't want to. You can just use cheaper black dice like uh, Dust, uh, Godless, and just use cheap yellows if you want some dot golden trim. If you if you char maybe don't buy the thing because it really looks too small for them, but it's really good for Asura and even Silvari, even Norns is pretty decently sized for the mount. 